Hi, uh, welcome to our first uh, Lumberto Bava review, part of our Lumberto Bava series. It's for the movie A Blade in the Dark. And uh, Lumberto Bava's obviously done a lot of movies, or several several well-known movies. Uh, Demons 1, Demons 2, uh, he also did a movie Macabre, which I haven't seen yet, which is also on this DVD. But uh, it's written by some of the people that did uh, Zombie 2, House by the Cemetery, um, the New York Ripper. Uh, it stars Andrea Ochipinti, and he was in The New York Ripper. Um, it's basically about an Italian composer, um, Ochipinti. Uh, his name's Bruno in the movie, and he gets set up in this creepy Italian villa to write the score for a horror movie that his friend Sandra's working on. Um, and he's not there for very long before strange young ladies start mysteriously showing up just long enough for him to realize that they're also mysteriously disappearing. So he starts becoming obsessed with what's going on at the villa. Um, and I liked it. I really liked it a lot, actually, probably because of the writers. It's got a really good script. I mean, the dubbing isn't, isn't laughable or anything like some of these movies. Um, there's a lot of unique things about it. One of the things I noticed is that a lot of the supporting characters um, almost all of them, really, are female. So <laughs> there's the female characters that are kind of like, I don't know, unrelatable, and they have to die in really dramatic ways, and Maybe. Italian actresses just really do it over the top in these, like, jealous style of movies. I think they're really entertaining, especially um, when they die. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, there's some really, really great death scenes in the movie, especially, I uh, don't want to spoil too much, but there's a scene that takes place in a bathroom, that you'll know when you see it. It's 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 one of my favorite actual slasher deaths of all time. I think it's fantastic, very violent. Yeah, some very very brutal things in this movie. Yeah, it has balls, but that's for sure. Yeah, so I mean, I also like the idea that it's a movie within a movie. I mean, it's been it's an idea that's kind of played out these days. But this was made in '83, so I don't think it was overdone or anything. Um, just the whole idea of like a killer stalking the set of a movie. I, I always find as a really entertaining premise, almost as a rule. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think I've ever been disappointed by a movie that had that sort of plot line. Not to mention the movie in this movie is kind of a weird one. Uh, the director is female, so that's kind of different. And you only see one clip from the movie throughout the entire course of this actual film. But it's still it's still good. It works in the story. Um, so, uh, would you recommend it? Yeah, I would. Def I definitely recommend it. I'm glad we got this uh, this drive-in box set thing. Yeah, um, got it. I would definitely also recommend it. I mean, as much as you can, as recommend for an Italian slasher. I mean, people are hard on Lumberto Bava. I think he's a good filmmaker. You just need to not judge him as harshly as you do his father. I mean, who's the Italian Hitchcock or like Dario Argento? Although there are kind of some Dario Argento type things in here. I'm really Thinking about the music, I guess. Uh, Bruno's Bruno's theme for the movie that's in the movie that gets played a lot through it um, reminds me of like a Gotland sounding kind of synth line. Uh, the rest of it's pretty good though. It's it didn't it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I mean really. that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's yeah. just not original. <laughs> so uh, I would recommend checking it out. I mean, if you like horror films, if you like giallo films, I don't know if this is really giallo because it came out in the in the eighties, but. Uh, I say go watch it. <laughs> go out, get it. It's a good buy.